OK, now that we've got our um, sprites programmed, and you'll notice when I click on each one, it's got a different set of coordinates corresponding to where it needs to go on the screen at the start of the game. We're going to use some selection to program our bat. So we're going to get our bat to move left and right when we press the arrow keys. Um, just like the last video, I'm going to show you the pseudocode first, then I'm going to show you the blocks that aren't arranged, and then I'm going to show you the blocks as they are arranged. You just pause the video and have a go, depending on the level of help you need. This is the pseudocode for the selection for making the, um, making the bat move to the right when you press the right arrow key. Um, you will also need another script on the bat to, me to, um, to make it move to the left as well. So you'd have to experiment with your move command there and just tweak this code. So you're going to need to write two scripts for this basically. And you're going to need to write them on the bat. So make sure you've got the bat selected before you start to drag your scripts in. So there's the pseudocode. If you um, want to have a go from there and try it without any further help, then pause this video now. Otherwise, keep watching. Okay, um, we're on to our next level of help, which means that I'm going to show you the blocks that you need, um, which are, you need a forever, you need an if then, a green flag clicked, you need a sensing, which is key, right arrow pressed, and you need a motion command, which you've altered to move five steps. If you think you can now have a go and try and put those together, pause this video now. Okay, the final level of help is showing you how to put this script together. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put this loop in, this forever loop. Then we're going to make our selection. If the right arrow is pressed, move. So the move will only happen if the right arrow is pressed, and we put that inside our forever loop, like so. You would also need to write another script here underneath um, for to make the left arrow work, but I'm going to see if you can try and figure that one out on your own. Off you go.